Hello and welcome to the Indy News Fan Park. Indy News is the one-stop shop for India super sports fans. We are doing some fun and exciting contests, giving away the most amazing goodies. So don't forget to follow all our social media handles. I'm Rohan Manglani and with me is Ankit Kedia. We are discussing a few of the international players and their past affiliations. Ankit, how excited are you to discuss this? We've had plenty of international players come in for, for the Indian Super League this season. A few of them outstanding. Well, like all the I ISL seasons, these international players, they bring their whole lot of experience, whole lot of talent with them. And with their help, I think our Indian players also learn a lot and grow a lot. So, and more than that, the kind of football they play, it's really exciting to watch. So, I'm really looking forward to more of them. Well, absolutely, Ankit. And I'm going to start with one of the most experienced centre-backs who's playing for the Kerala Blasters, Bakari Kone. He's 32 years old. He's from Burkina Faso, which is a French colony. He's, you know, he's, he speaks French predominantly. The exciting thing is that he's played at Lyon for five years and he's also been a part of the Malaga squad for two years. He's, you know, he, he's really adaptable in the centre-back position. He plays left centre-back, he plays right centre-back. And we can also already see how commanding he is for the, you know, for the Kerala Blasters. Absolutely. I mean, he's been pretty vocal at the back and you see some last-ditch tackles from him. And he, I mean, you can see why Kerala Blasters have opted for him. Moving True. on, I'm, I'm going to take you through Idrissa Silla from Northeast United. Uh, this six-feet, one-inch centre-forward has played for Queen's Park Rangers and he has also played for Anderlecht in their league winning season. Anderlecht is obviously the top division uh, in Belgium and uh, he, Idrissa Silla is also a part of the Guinea national team and he was a uh, part of their 2015 African Nations Cup squad in oh, which wow. they finished fourth. Yeah, and uh, I mean, they finished fourth, you can imagine, you know, the kind of quality he has and uh, also it was his birthday on 3rd of December. So, wishing him a belated happy birthday. And uh, yeah, let's see what he has in store for Northeast. Well, indeed, a very happy belated birthday to Idrisa Silla. You know, one of the other things about him is he's known as the Waddell, yeah. who is also because he, you know, he, he has a similar style of play to Chris Waddell. Yeah. So, let's see what the Waddell brings to the ISL this season. Well, I'm going to be moving on to another a very exciting player. He's a left winger. Anthony Pilkington, he plays for SC East Bengal. Obviously, they haven't gotten to, you know, gotten off to the best start so far. But he's 32, he's Irish, he's, you know, he's he's had some really good stints at Norwich City. He's played about, he's appeared 75 times for them, scoring, you know, scoring 14 goals. He's also been a part of the Cardiff City squad for quite a long time. 103 games for Cardiff, 20 goals in that time, you know, and also he's uh, he's been a part of Wigan Athletic. Uh, he's played 24 games for them, two goals. One of the things is that he looks absolutely fit. He's, you know, he's been playing the, the complete ma uh, matches for his team. And uh, uh, he, he really looks like a good fit at the moment for, for East Bengal. It's just that they have to get their season going. Absolutely, man. And I remember him. I actually had him for a few weeks in one of my uh, fantasy teams back in the day when he used to uh, play for Norwich. But uh, moving on from there, I think uh, we should rather now speak about Danny Fox, uh, who plays for SC East Bengal. He is the centre-back for them and also their team captain. Uh, he actually used to play uh, as a left-back and he converted his game into a centre-back for SC East Bengal. He has played for the, uh, for the for Scottish national team and he has also represented the under-21 team of England. Uh, wow! Yeah, and the teams that he's played for, he's played for Burnley, he's played for Southampton, he's played for Wigan Athletic, and also obviously for Celtic. Uh, and you know, Rowan, one interesting point about him is that when uh, Robbie Fowler was picking his team, you know, there was a couple of people that he particularly handpicked at the start of the season, right? And Danny right. Fox was one of them players that he picked. So you could imagine the kind of faith Robbie Fowler has in Danny Fox. It's a... Absolutely. I mean, and immediately, you know, the first season he's coming to the ISL, he's made him the captain of the yeah. team. So, I mean, must be talking so much about his leadership qualities there. Absolutely, man. But just really unfortunate that he got injured against Mumbai FC. Uh, and we saw like the kind of uh, impact it had in their defence. Hmm. Uh, I just hope that he's back playing soon and as he'll be a big miss for East Bengal. 
absolutely absolutely here's hoping to danny fox returning as soon as possible uh, uncle i'm going to take you to the next player who's a spanish player his name is alberto noguera he plays for fc goa he's 31 years old he's been pairing up with uh, edu uh, vidia really well in in the central midfield one of the things i really like about him is that he's been you know he was initially he played for the atletico madrid b team c team first then b team then he got uh, included into the main team of the atletico madrid squad mm-hmm. uh, you know he played about only two games for them unfortunately at that time but you know there's something about his mentality when you are part of that atletico uh, madrid squad there's something and we've seen this over the last 10 12 15 years Absolutely. is that atletico have that insane pressing mentality in the midfield you know yeah. and i think goa kind of sets up very similar to that you know and guan fernando is manager i think he's he's played him he's 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 a very uh, important uh, uh, part of that midfield of his and he's playing him in that position to continuously press and you know he has that energy and stuff like that so i think he fits really well into yeah. that goa team and and he's already doing so well he's he's one of the top passers in the team yeah. so Yeah, and not only that, like uh, uh, apart from being in the top ten list of the uh, most number of successful passes, he also has the most n- number of successful tackles. So you can imagine the kind of uh, values and uh, and the you know strength that he brings into the game. Absolutely, absolutely. I've got with me the next player who is Steven Taylor from Odisha FC. Uh, I've, he'd probably be one of the most recognized international faces of the league so far, at least for me. Uh, Once again, uh, I've had him for quite a few weeks in my fantasy team back in the day when he used to play for Newcastle United. Yeah, he spent thirteen years in Newcastle United. That's what I was saying. Yeah, yeah, and he's played about two hundred and fifteen odd games for them. The you know the kind of centre back he is. He's a no nonsense defender. He brings in the, yeah. with him this tactical acumen that he has and his physical prowess. So and plus his aerial ability is a strong bonus for this IFC. although he didn't have such a great start because he conceded a penalty in the first in his first game in the ISL but nonetheless as you know there's a long time away for him to prove his talent so let's see how it goes absolutely man i mean steven taylor doesn't need an introduction in fact you uh, you know i think he's going to adapt very quickly to the indian surfaces and uh, i think he's going to have a good season all in all by the end of it yep. all right i'm going to take you to the next player of, again of kerala blasters uh, gary hooper he's 32 he's an english you know proper out and out center forward he's he spent 3 years at celtic he had 95 appearances for celtic scored 63 goals in that much time then you know we've known about him he's been at norwich over there he was he was playing for norwich city for 3 years with 64 appearances and 18 goals uh, you know he's uh, he's he's one of those strikers which kerala blasters are really hoping that he gets going he's already scored a goal uh, you know and i think there's plenty you know of more goals to come from him in this season absolutely taking you to the next player is mr adam lefondre from mumbai fc uh, by the way he also celebrated his uh, birthday this last week so why don't we wish him a belated happy birthday and uh, it was his 34th birthday and uh, on the eve of his birthday he scored two goals so that i think was yeah. a great birthday he had uh, yeah. currently topping the race for golden boot uh, and he's also played for teams like uh, reading he's played for cardiff city for wolves uh, for bolton wanderers for wigan athletic so i mean he's i mean you know we already have seen the kind of stuff that he's bringing in for the team Absolutely, man, and we saw that in the game against uh, Mumbai and East Bengal. Also, I think Mumbai City completely yeah. opened the path, you know, uh, East Bengal in that game, and uh, and Adam Adam Lefondre had he had a great time in that. I, you know, at times I was thinking that is it Mumbai FC or is it actually Manchester City who's playing that game because they created space, so much spaces. All through and and Lafondro was having a ball over there, so yeah. I think he's that that's going to continue. And, and, and you know another fact that he had scored 21 goals in 28 games in the A League last season, which is the Australian wow. top division. He's got 21 goals, man, out of 28 games. That's a top top stat. Anyway, guys and girls, again, hope you uh, you hope you enjoyed this this chat on the Indi News Fan Park. Uh, please do you know comment and let us know who your favorite players are. catch you soon on the next indie news fan park chat and you know once again we are doing a lot of great contests 
and we're giving away exciting prizes. So please don't forget to follow all our social media handles. Thank you. Thank you.